Welcome to GDs, and this is, BMF, Season 1. With Big L, agreeing to supply to them, Meech goes to Pat, and tells him, that they have found a new supplier. Meech hoped, that with Pat being the one who brought them into the game, they could part ways peacefully. But that was not the case, and Pat got quite angry and decided to end all ties with them. With Pat completely cutting them off, and their supplies and money being gone, they are quite desperate. In addition, they also know that they could receive a call from their new supplier any day, and thus in order to close the deal they will have to be ready. Thus, Meech comes up with a plan, and he goes to Zoe's school, and tricks her into coming with him. As Lamar goes to pick Zoe up, he receives a message. Seeing the message, Lamar calls Meech, and Meech tells him, that in exchange for his daughter, he wants all that he stole from him back. Lamar is furious, and he calls all the 12th Street boys, and tells them to hit the streets hard, in search of Terry, Meech, or any of their family. He even goes after one of his boys, who tried to play down the event. Monique, not finding Zoe home, comes to see Lamar, and he is forced to tell her the truth. Monique, learning the same, is angry and upset with Lamar, as he made her believe that he changed his way, but now because of him, her daughter is in danger. Lamar, promises her, that he will fix the situation. And asks Slick to search every street for the brothers. Meech, calls Lamar again, wanting to know where they can meet for exchange, but Lamar refuses to give up the stash for Zoe. With Lamar refusing to give up the stash, 50th boys, grab Slick, and they interrogate him, wanting him to give up the location of the stash house. But he endures all the punishment and refuses to give them anything. But Meech, gets him to give them what they want, when he shows him Zoe sitting in the car, and he threatens to kill her, as then, Lamar will hold him responsible for her death. Slick, knowing how much Lamar wanted to connect with his daughter, gives up the stash house, and Meech keeps his promise, and lets Slick walk away with her. Slick, takes Zoe to Lamar, and Lamar brings her home to Monique. Monique is happy to have her daughter back, but when Lamar attempts to enter the house, Monique stops him, and tells him to stay away from them. Meanwhile, at the local precinct, a witness is brought in, as he claims to have seen J. Mo before he disappeared. He gives him the description of the vehicle, in which he saw J. Mo get in. He tells Detective Lopez, that he might be able to identify the man, whom he saw driving the car. And as he was leaving he sees Detective Bryant, and he felt, it was him whom he saw, but says nothing for the moment. The following day, Detective Lopez and Bryant, go to visit him. As he told Lopez, that he recalled the man who was driving the car, in which he saw J. Mo. But when they reached there, a neighbor told the detectives, that the the person whom they are looking for is gone, and he left with boxes and bags packed. Detective Bryant, later meets with Meech at a gas station. Meech tells Bryant, that the witness has been taken care of. Detective Bryant returns the money to Meech, telling him, that he is done working with him. But as he hands him an envelope, we see Detective Lopez, seeing the exchange, as he had been following him. Meech, having raided the 12th Street Boys stash house, knows that they are out of product. Thus he sells some product to one of the 12th Street Boys, whom Lamar went after. With the money he received from the sale, Meech gives it to Terry, as they can now source products from their new supplier. Terry tells Meech, that he has to meet with their new supplier alone, as this was her condition, since she feels, that he is a bit too flashy. Meech a little disappointed decides to stay back, as Terry goes to close the deal. Terry returns home with a product, and as the brothers were discussing, their mother enters the room, and seeing the drugs on the bed, she realizes, that Terry is also involved with his brother. Lucille, finding out that Terry is also involved in his brother's affairs, locks herself in a room, and the boys ask their father to speak to her. Charles tries to talk with her, but she is not saying much. It is when Terry admits to him, that she found out about him selling drugs. Meech, knowing that Lamar might retaliate, wants them to take Nicole and go to Ohio to hide out. But Charles, refuses to move his family out of the home he built. Later, Meech being out on the street, is attacked by an out-of-control Lamar, who goes after him with a short gun, as he seeks revenge. But Meech, with some help, survives, and Lamar is forced to back off. Knowing about Lamar's looming threat, they beef up security for their family. They also know, that now they cannot be seen on the streets. Thus they decide to hand a few bricks to some of their guys in the crew, and tell them to sell as they want, and all they have to do, is to return with the amount that is due to them, while everything else they make, they can keep. Meech, wanted to give B. Mick a brick for free, but Terry was against the idea, and he sells it to him, though at a discounted price, as he doesn't want him to be treated as their equal.
with Lamar, losing his stash house, and being unpredictable. He loses the support of the 12th Street boys, and they push him out. He also tries to connect with Monique, but she refuses to open the door, which results in him threatening her. But when he sees Zoe seeing him, he returns back. Lamar, then goes to Slick, and tells him, that he has lost everything. Slick tries to keep him on track with her plan, but he blames him for everything, and stabs and kills him. On the other hand, Charles and Lucille think, that they can get Terry to straighten his life, by taking the settlement from the hospital, and making him go to school in another state. However, their plan fails, when they learn from their lawyer, that the offer had a time period and has expired. Charles, blames her for this, and was quite disrespectful, as a result, she quits. They later confront Terry, wanting to know why he followed Meech. Terry tells them, that he has been with Meech since the beginning, as he was tired of living the way they had to live, and wanted to make money to help the family. On the other hand, Nicole, wanting to have some alone time with her boyfriend Darius, runs from her security detail. As she got away from her detail, and was walking with Darius, Lamar stops them, and he tries to get Nicole to get in his car, but she refuses. Darius steps in to protect her, and Lamar stabs him in the stomach. Despite being stabbed, Darius grabs Lamar, and stops him, giving Nicole a chance to escape. Lamar, in order to get away, stabs him again, and drives off. Getting to know what happened, Meech and Terry rush to the hospital, where they find their sister in shock. In addition, they also learn that Darius passed away. As Meech tries to comfort his sister, she blames him for the death of Darius. Nicole, is questioned by the police, with Detective Bryant, not being allowed inside the interrogation room. With the line of questioning, becoming extremely intense, Lucille shuts them down, and leaves with her daughter. Meech, wants to put an end to Lamar, thus he enlists Tiny, and some of the other members of the 12th Street Gang, and gets them to go after Lamar, as he has now become a threat to both of the gangs. The group tries to take Lamar out, but he was only injured in the attempt, and manages to get away. Being injured, he breaks into Monique's house. As Monique finds him in her bathroom, she is quite angry that he will come there, and threatens to call the police. Hearing the same, Lamar shoves her into the wall and punches her in the face. As Zoe sees her mother bleeding on the floor, Lamar realizes what he has done, and he flees. Monique, asks Meech to come over, and on seeing her, he vows to handle Lamar. On the other hand, with an innocent kid being dead, there is a lot of heat on the streets, and thus, they are not able to move the product. And Cato tells the same to the brothers. Meech tells Terry, to talk to Big L, their new supplier, and ask for an extension. Terry sees Big L, in order to discuss the same, but Big L expresses her disappointment in the brothers, for not being able to move the product as promised, and declines to give them an extension. Knowing the same, Meech and Terry decide, that they need to be out on the streets moving products, in order to meet Big L's deadline. Terry agrees, but tells Meech, that they would need to do it in shifts, as both of them cannot be out together. With an increased police presence on the streets, detectives run after some corner boys. Detective Lopez, was able to grab one of the boys, and it turns out to be Meech. Cato, in order to help him get away, hits the detective with a pipe, resulting in him collapsing on the ground, and they are able to get away. As Detective Bryant reaches there, he discovers his partner on the ground bleeding heavily from his head. On the other hand, Lucille goes to see their lawyer, hoping she can convince her to take them back on as a client. Though she was reluctant at first, but ultimately agrees to take them back as her client, and assures Lucille, that she has a plan to go after the hospital. Later at Darius's funeral, Lucille attempts to give condolences to Darius's mother. But Darius's mother, lashes out at Lucille. Back at their home, Terry comforts his sister, and tells her he is completely to blame for Darius's death. He also apologizes to his sister for everything she has endured because of his decisions. While Lucille confronts Wanda, and convinces her to have a talk with Terry, and get him to stop associating with his brother. Wanda, knowing about the dangers of his lifestyle, gives Terry an ultimatum. She tells Terry, that he must choose between his family, or Meech, as he cannot go on with both. Meanwhile at the hospital, Bryant and Mars learn, that Detective Lopez has succumbed to his injury, and is no more. Mars tells Bryant to head to the precinct for questioning. When Bryant expresses there is somewhere he needs to be, Mars informs him, that she is aware of the envelope exchange between him and Meech. And if she discovers he had anything to do with Lopez's death, he will regret it. Brian assures her, he had nothing to do with his partner's death. While Cato, goes to be Mickey, 
distraught over harming Detective Lopez, and ends up getting intimate. As B. Mickey leaves, Lamar reaches there. Lamar threatens to kill B. Mickey, but Cato begs him to leave him alone. Lamar agrees to do so, but in return, he asks her to kill Meech, while he goes after Terry. But as Lamar leaves B. Mickey's home, he was spotted by him. B. Mickey pulls his gun on Cato, wanting to know the truth, and Cato confesses to everything, and begs B. Mickey, to help her get rid of Lamar. Detective Bryant, meets with Meech wanting to know, what happened with Detective Lopez. Meech tells the detective, that he does not know who attacked his partner, and thus cannot help him. With the detective being dead, one by one, their entire crew is arrested. Terry is taken in the middle of the hallway at his school, and Meech is arrested by Detective Bryant, at the home of the mother of his child. But the police did not have enough evidence to keep the crew locked up, and they were eventually released. On the other hand, Karen, working on Terry's case, and learning that the surgeon who operated on him had been drinking, was able to secure a settlement for them, where they will get $150,000 from the hospital. Learning the same, Charles and Lucille, are quite happy. Charles, takes Terry to the home of a man that runs his own car service. And he explains to him, that with the settlement amount, they can start their own car service. As this will give him a legitimate way of earning, and thus can be his way out from his brother's affairs. Terry lets his parents know, that he needs to think it over. While Meech, with his crew, begins the process of gaining control over the entire city, and in his endeavor, he meets up with Boom, another player in the city. With their business expanding, Meech goes with Terry to meet Big L, wanting more products. But Big L refuses to deal with Meech, and he had to return. On the other hand, B. Mickey wanting to end Lamar's threat, asks Cato to set up Lamar. But later, when he meets with Meech, Meech asks him, on how much he trusts Cato, and can he trust her with the lives of the Flenneries or his own. Feeling some guilt about hiding the truth from him, B. Mickey tells him, that Cato has been working with Lamar. And they have planned to set him up. Lamar, fearing that Cato might be trying to set him up, goes after her in a bar. But as he gets out, he finds that Meech was also there. Lamar points his gun at Cato, but Meech tells him, they do not care about her, considering she's a rat. Meech shoots and kills Lamar. While Cato tries to walk away, telling B. Mickey, that she loves him, but B. Mickey shoots and kills her, telling her that he loves her too. While Big L, hearing Terry out, decided to give them the additional product. Meech is quite happy and wants to celebrate, but Terry reminds him of Lamar. It is when Meech tells him, that he took care of him. But Terry was not that excited, and he asks him if he is proud of what he did. The question angers Meech, and he leaves in order to celebrate his win, without him. At home, Wanda, in order to keep the pressure on Terry, tells him, that she is leaving along with her son, and they will be staying with her cousin in Pennsylvania, until he decides on what he wants to do. Learning the same Terry is quite angry, but Lucille assures him, that everything will work itself out. On the streets, B. Mickey is pulled over by Detective Bryant, and taken into custody. Detective Bryant tells him, that he was tipped off about B. Mickey's car being at the club, where Lamar was killed. But B. Mickey denies having anything to do with his death. It is when Detective Bryant pulls out B. Mickey's gun, that he recovered from his car, and he tells him, that the gun matches with the bullets recovered from Jamo and Cato. And he can put him away easily. And his only way out of the situation, is by agreeing to help him take down Meech. Terry, later meets with Meech, and Meech hands Terry a huge BMF chain tag, letting him know, that they are now ready to rule. But Terry is not interested, and he tells him, that he has decided to walk away from this business. As now he plans to use his settlement money to start up a car service business with their father. Knowing the same, Meech is quite angry, and tells him, that if he walks away, Big L won't deal with him, and Terry tells him, that that is now his problem. As the season ends, we see Meech, trying to call back his brother, but Terry, ignores his calls, and walks away. And some years in the future, we see Meech, writing about the night in a journal, while being locked up in a prison cell. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.